Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. When you focus on your sensations, you're getting right into the present moment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, Ram Dass used to say, be here now. Yeah. The problem with being here now is that nobody can be here now. You have to, you're actually everywhere at the same time <laughs> at all time. <laughs> so being here now is means focusing on your body, on your sensations. It's a good thing to be able to do that, but don't stick, don't stick there. Mm -hmm. Because you've got to allow the intuition to flow. Intuition is like a flow. Sensation is like a stop. Mm -hmm. uh, feeling is like a flow. Thinking is like a stop. Mm -hmm. So if you think too much, you get stuck and you lose out on the magical qualities mm -hmm. of feeling. If you are in touch with sensations, oh, le vin, le the wine is so good, I like the taste of the cheese, I love it so much. If you get too stuff on that kind of stuff, <laughs> You lose all your intuition. Yeah. You ask a wine taster, well, what what's going to be the next? I don't know what's going to be this. I only eat the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but, but so you're saying sensation brings us into the here and now. Exactly. Intuition focuses on the future. But on, are, is that on, the, a, on the whole movement between future, present, and even past. Okay. So I intuition is is, 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 is is the flow. It's the flow through spaces. And uh -huh. time. As opposed to being just in the now. Exactly, exactly. Okay. It's like the, similar to the wave particle duality. It's just a different sort of duality. There's the wave particle duality would have to do with what we call energy and time. And the wave particle duality was just to do with momentum and position, mm -hmm. the location. And feeling is more associated with w energy wave, yes. and thinking is more associated with temporal thoughts. I mean, where are thoughts? They're in time, but where do they actually live? They don't live anywhere. But sensations live somewhere. We can feel mm -hmm. them in various parts. They're, 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 they're in a sense more real than thoughts. Thoughts, yep. you, you can't, my thought is in this part of my head, right there. Uh, it's not there, it's not there, you know. But uh, I feel the pinprick there. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. So there is a difference between a thought and a sensation. So well, and what you're getting at is the, the nature of the human being. Sometimes we're in time and space, and sometimes we seem completely yeah, separate. Exactly, exactly. And I if, you, if you are a... Uh, <coughs> If you're an intuitive feeling type of person, you would you'd be what I would call out there, man. You're <laughs> out there, man. You're really there. I mean, the free love movement in yeah. San Francisco was feeling intuitives operating all over the place. I mean, that's what I guess uh, some of the great LSDs and marijuanas and all these other exciting mm. uh, substances that we all took back in that time. That's what got opened up. Yeah. Why? Because we got we were stuck in thinking and sensing. It's thinking and sensing, and that if you stay stuck there, it it, it evokes fear. Yeah. It evokes fear because oh, what's going to happen to me, my buddy? I'm going to you, know, you get stuck in that. Yeah. Thinking about your I'm not going to mm -hmm. have my buddy anymore. You get stuck. So everybody's in fear mode, and that's a lot to do with why people get afraid because they get stuck. They let go or they forgot how to get back into that flow of feeling and energy, and that's mm -hmm. what uh, by that's what my book, Mind and the Matter, is really all about, and that's all inspired from Carlos Suarez, who uh, initiated the inquiry into that. Well, Fred Allen Wolf, it's been a pleasure. This half hour has gone by very, very quickly. Yes. Yes. Uh, I enjoyed it thoroughly. What a delight to be with you again. Thank you so much, Fred. Thank you.